Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Seven Days to Die. This is the Insane Nightmare series. I am the Bearded OG, at least last they told me. And uh, in this episode, we are going to get set up for our Horde of the Night 21 base. So what I'm going to do is an idea that I got from a YouTuber named Pseudo Posse. Um, he has put out a, a really well done video um, on all kinds of things related to base building in uh, seven days to die 1.0. And I, I watched that video and I go, it, you know, and he's got some really good ideas. I even learned a few things, you know, um, it just goes to show, even though I have like over four or 5,000 hours or whatever the hell it is in this game, you don't know everything. And, um, anyway, he's got a, a base idea, uh, based upon a tower with ladders that I think I'm going to try. I want to give it a shot and see if it works. And of course, if it, uh, if it succeeds epically, you guys will think that's awesome. If it fails epically, well, you'll think that's awesome, too, because you'll be entertained. So <laughs> it's a win-win situation. Anyway, um, so, yeah, I've spent um, quite a bit of time overnight um, mining uh, or digging, I should say, over there. So I uh, have dug up a bunch of sand and gravel for making concrete. And we currently have... Um, 891 concrete made and another 1,474-ish uh, in the cooker there. Uh, I did, I uh, had to run away from some zombs, and I did find a duffel bag with a cookie magazine in it, a magazine in it, rather. So let's eat that now, or consume it, or read it. And then, I think, um, let's see, do we have any points? We don't have any points, but I think I have some challenges. Yeah, so we got the craft pipe bombs challenge. We have the Craft Concrete Mix Challenge. And we have the Gather Sand Challenge. All right, nice. So that gets us some XP. Um, and I have indeed crafted uh, a bunch of pipe bombs. I think we have a hundred of them, in fact. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five stacks of 20. So we have a hundred pipe bombs that we will be using on the Horde Knight and also 17 Molotovs as well. So, um, I think what I want to do is let's get, let's grab all this cobblestone and let's actually grab all this wood too. And we'll just grab a little bit more of that and then we'll get started here with our build. Do I have repair kits? Okay, so I have some repair kits. So we got some food and drink, which we could probably stand to take one of each of those right at the moment. Just to get topped off. Can I make a, an iron axe yet? I haven't even looked. Um, iron axe right here. Not quite yet. Okay, I'll bet you we're getting really close to, to being able to do that. My iron tools that I currently have, we just bought from the trader. Okay. So, we're going to once again use Dick Steiner, but we're going to use Dick Steiner as a fallback in case things go south on us. Um, but we're going to build next to it. So, um, I don't really think I need to do anything inside of here because if we do have to fall back to Dick Steiner, we're just going to be up on the roof again like we were last time. So, I don't think we really need to do anything um, in Dick's itself. Let's go ahead and wrench this street light here to get a little bit of steel from it. And if I have time, I may actually go out and... Um, get some more steel from street lights too. We'll just see how our time goes. I mean, we still have two full days essentially, but uh, this build's going to take a little while. It's not going to. It's not really super complicated or extensive, but it'll take a little little doing. All right. So what we're going to do is let's go ahead and turn these back into uh, normal shapes. And I want to make, how many of these can I make? I can make a total of 719. Let's make, well, let's make it, let's say 200 of these blocks. All right. Now, um, what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to set a block there. And then we're going to make ourselves a three by three platform to start with. And I think, I think that's probably good. Actually, no, let's be back uh, a little further this way. And 
mind, we're gonna upgrade. We're gonna upgrade the first three blocks all the way to concrete. After that, as we go up, because we're building a tower here, uh, I'll keep it cobblestone and, until I know that all the really essential parts are upgraded to concrete, and then we'll see where we are, you know, for for doing more. But it's most important for the first three blocks to be upgraded to concrete, because that's going to be the hit level. However, if this base works the way that I hope that it does, we shouldn't have a whole lot of uh, zombie raging happening. Here, here's the thing about the raging. Uh, if, if, you, if you're in a situation where you're dropping zombies, um, I've heard a couple of different opinions, I guess, about what that height is. But I think, I think the minimum height is, it's either 11 or 13. That if you drop a, if Zombos drop 13 blocks below where you're standing, they won't rage because you're kind of out of range of their rage trigger mechanism. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go 15 high just to be a little bit higher and a little bit more on the safe side. So the theory is that when zombies drop, which they will, because this base is going to be dropping them, and they hit the ground, they won't rage and try and start taking the tower down. That's the theory. Now, whether or not it actually ends up working that way is a completely different <laughs> scenario, but uh, that's what I think, uh, or I'm anticipating will happen. All right, so let's get this third row upgraded all the way to cement, or concrete. Okay, so starting on the fourth block, how much concrete do I have? 653. Okay. Yeah, starting here, we're going to we're going to start doing cobblestone. Um and again, um I'll come back. Now what I would like to actually do is have the face of the tower where the ladders are going to be and we're going to do three ladders so we have backups that that part's all concrete. But I want to make sure everything that we do up above, that we, you know, we have enough concrete for everything we're going to do up above first before we do that. Okay, so that should be four blocks high. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm just going to cut the camera here and I'm going to keep going up and up and up until I am 15 blocks high um, with cobblestone. And then when I get to that point, I will bring you back and then we'll do the next part here. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I'm out of wood, so I got all the way to the 15th level, but I can't upgrade from there. So now what I'm doing is I'm just putting the three ladders in place um, as I work my way back down, and then I'm going to have to go cut some wood. And that's why I was kind of hoping I had a, a wood fire axe, but I guess we'll just have to use the, the stone one. I guess I could go see if... Rekt has one for sale. And uh, we're going to also need more cobblestone, too. Um, quite a bit more, in fact. Um, so I think what I'll do is, once again, cut the camera here and go cut a bunch of wood and also harvest resource, more resources to make cobblestone. Um, we're going to, we don't need a ton more cobblestone, but we need enough to, you know, get the upper layer and everything else. Hold on a sec. Um, up there, upgraded from, you know, uh, wood to cobblestone to, to cement. Also, I did get another point, and I think what we're going to do in terms of points is we're going to take a sidestep from strength. I did put the first, uh, or the next point that I had previously in the boomstick. Uh, but we're going to go back to perception, because I'd like to get demolitions expert up to level two, if possible, just so we do more damage with it over the horde night. Uh, but we first have to get to Perception 3. However, you know, doing all this building is going to get me, definitely get me some XP. All right, so um, I will cut the camera here, go mine up some resources, and I'll bring you back with an update here in just a little bit. All right, we got the homesteading reward. And I think we'll take two tactical warfares. 
And we got the advanced survival reward. For that, let's take two handgun magazines, I think. Oh, no, actually, let's take the cooling mesh mod schematic. May come in handy later on when we go to the desert. Let's get this over with. All right, do you have an axe? You don't. Damn it, wrecked. What the hell's the matter with you? No axe. Okay. All right, well, then I'm not, I'm not going to take the time I'll to go. You. I shoot you. <laughs> I'm not gonna take the time to go down to the other traders looking for that. We gotta keep working here. Uh, we should be fine time-wise as long as we keep, you know, keep at it. So, uh, here, let's uh, read these. Okay, we can make a level three quality AK. I might skip that one and wait till we can get a little higher. Let's learn that, and now we can make the cooling mod, mesh mod. And right, okay, so I'm gonna go. Start mining a bunch of stone and clay for cobble and cutting some wood. All right. We got company. Did they scream? Doesn't look like it. Nice. I was just down in my iron mine getting some more iron and stone in the process. Uh, so we, we're up to 871 cobblestone now. I got uh, over 3,500 iron. Uh, we got 3,500 wood and some more stone. So I'm just going to go dig up a little more clay to make just a little more cobblestone, and then we'll get back to the build. As you can see, I cut down a lot of the trees around here, but I planted more than I cut down. So when they grow back up, we'll have a thicker, lusher forest than we had before. It's a beautiful thing. All right, guys, we're back in uh, the top layer here. We want to upgrade to concrete because um, we're going to extend more blocks off of it, and I want the, it all to be the same material. I, th I think concrete and um, cobblestone have the same mass to weight ratio, but... I'd still prefer to have it all be concrete up at the top here. All right. And then uh, I've got a little more upgrading to do on those ladders, but uh, we should we should have plenty, actually. But we'll just uh, hold off on that for a little bit longer. Okay. So this is the top of our platform. Uh, so we're going to have uh, some mechanism to get over onto the roof if things go south on us. but. What we want to do now is we want to um, extend out to two blocks, I think, this way. And we'll do the same thing on this side. I should probably get uh, put my coin in my inventory because I got that, you know, we read the book that lets us fall 15 meters. And I think each one of these blocks is a meter, so we are at 15 meters right here. In case we fall off or even needed to jump off. But we'll just try and be careful here. Okay, so um, I want to go... Get that one over there, yeah. I want to go out three from here. And then another one. Wrapped around like that. Um, maybe actually. No, let's let's do one more. We'll go out one more. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Um, and then can I get away with putting one more out here without it becoming unstable? I think so. I think we can do that. Very 
Very good. All right, now we want to upgrade all of this to concrete. Very good, we got that done. Okay, let's get you upgraded. I want, um, ideally, um, and we, I'm pretty sure we'll have enough resources. I want this whole entire front face to be concrete, ladders and blocks. Um, but again, there's higher priority things. So let's do the higher priority things first and then we'll get that stuff fixed up later. Okay. So, um, uh, let's see, we are going to need to be able to escape to that building. And if I have time, I'll also upgrade our little cage over there to at least cobblestone. Um, and so the way we're going to do that is we're going to, um, put, we're going to build ourselves a bridge over this way. And I think what I might actually do is use a door um, to cross the gap. We'll see. This is going to probably start getting a little unstable. Um, yeah, I want to go want to be over that thingy down there. So I think, yeah, one more should be good. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll, we'll go down there and we'll build up from down there to, to meet up with this. But uh, let's, let's worry about that later. I'm going to need to make a few, some more building blocks too. So let's just do... How many can I do in total? 1,500. Let's do... Let's do another 200. Okay, so now the next thing here is that we want to find in the block menu the angled railing piece. So uh, we need to go to, where's the railing at? Here we go. Yeah, this piece right here. The, uh, or sorry, the diagonal railing. So let's grab that. And then we want this to be advanced rotation. And we want it to be right there. Okay, and that's all we need to do with that. Now we want this to be... Um, I think I want this to be scaffolding now. Well, yeah, I think I do. Okay. Tell you what, though, whilst we're in this menu, we're going to choose the corner railing. And we're going to, oh, that's weird. Uh, what does it do on face? There we go. Uh, we're going to put the, the, the corners in too while we're at it here. Uh, so that'll go over here. Okay, so we got that in. Now, let's go to Scaffold Blocks. Uh, let's see, where do we find those? Here. Okay, so let's switch to Scaffold Blocks, and then we're going to put those. I want them vertical, though. So what we're going to need to do is go to Advanced Rotation. There we go. Except for this way. Okay, good. Uh, so let's get these upgraded. And these I'm going to actually 
probably turn into steel if I have time to get enough steel to upgrade them and also keep them repaired. Uh, because these are going to take some damage here. Alright, let's get these upgraded too. I'm just going to bring these up to cobble for now. Because they shouldn't theoretically take damage from anything except for maybe buzzards. But it's very unlikely the buzzards will damage these particulars. Though it's what we're going to put above us that we need to worry about for the buzzards. Unless they're spitting buzzards. But I don't think we'll get boss buzzards on 21. Of course, I don't know that for sure. We'll see. I'll upgrade those to concrete if we have enough concrete left over afterwards. Okay. Good. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our scaffolding blocks and we want them to uh yeah we want to put these here I'm in the way a little bit all right then these will go on this side We're using scaffolding blocks because they are really good for throwing things through, shooting things through, poking things through, sledgehammering things through, etc., etc. Um, nope, we need to be on this side. There we go. Okay, let's get these upgraded. Excellent. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to put uh, rails down along the side. Um... So, let's see, railing is here, catwalks. And I think we just want the this stuff here. That's diagonal, double. Yeah, I think this is what we want. Oh, whoops. Um, no, that's not what I want. That doesn't have a... Well, actually, no, it is what I want, but it's turned the wrong direction. That's what the problem is. So, if we do an on face, that's what we want. Okay. Now, let's upgrade all of this to cobblestone. Okay, good. So we got that done. Uh, now what we want to do is we want to go up another level. And I'm trying to decide if I want to make this next level scaffolding. Um, the reason I would do that is because scaffolding will block buzzards spit. Again, I'm not expecting buzzards on 21, but if we end up using this for a couple more horde nights, so, you know, we could get them later. Um, but I didn't want to make the whole wall out of it because then what will happen is you'll get stuck on it because, you know, it acts like a ladder. Actually, you know what, though? I don't think it does act like... Oh, no, it does. Yeah, see? I'm still climbing up it even though it's vertically oriented. And that's not a big deal, but it's kind of a pain in the ass, so... Nevertheless, um, we, we, we don't have scaffolding that will work on the corners, so we're going to have to do the corners just, you know, as normal corner rails. Pick that up. Go this way. And if, you know, we get buzzer spit through the corners, then we get buzzer spit through the corners. It's not the end of the world. No, wrong thing. Okay, good. Now, let's make the rest of these, though, um, scaffolding. So we're going to do a copy shape and a rotation. I guess that means we go here with it.
Okay, do a copy, shape, and rotation. I guess I have those the other direction. So this means then this should fit on the back side. And this side should fit on this side. Alright, let's get them upgraded. Yep, we're out of cobble. Okay. That's fine. We'll build out the rest of it um, just in the unupgraded wood, and then I'll do the upgrading myself later. Now we want the we want the roof to also be scaffolding blocks because here again, then we can melee through them, we can shoot through them, we can throw through them, and buzzards cannot spit through them. So that means we need to. i got to think about how I'm going to do this. Um, all right, guys. Um, I had to think a little bit about how I was going to uh, do this roof, and the solution is actually quite simple. Uh, we're just going to put the scaffolding blocks on in this orientation here. And uh, that gets them up just a little bit higher than our head, so that way we're not getting stuck in them. So let's put these, pretty much we're just going to put these at, at in this orientation all the way across here. Okay, so yeah, we just need to get more cobblestone farmed up for the rest of these. Um, buzzards might be able to actually hit me if I'm standing up through here because I'm, my head's so close to it. I'm not sure if they can or not, but I don't think they'll be able to hit me if we duck. So we'll just have to kind of be mindful of that. I could have made that three high too, but... Uh, I think we'll just go with this and we'll, you know, if we have a, if we have a lot of trouble with buzzards in that regard, you know, we'll, we'll know better for next time. Also need to get some iron ingots to upgrade this. I want this to be an iron door. And then, like I said, if we end up having plenty of concrete left over, which we probably will, I mean, we still have over a thousand, uh, and I can make more too, if I absolutely had to, uh, we'll get, we'll get all this probably upgraded to concrete as well. These blocks here are the ones that are going to take the most damage. Um, and so we want to try and get these upgraded to steel if we can, and then have a little bit of steel left over afterwards. So out here, I think what we're going to do is um, let's, let's go ahead and jump down here. And we're going to switch to these blocks here. And we'll put a, um, some supporting blocks down here. Okay. And this is, um, this is like a quarter block here, but there's still an actual block there. And we'll want to get this upgraded to at least cobblestone. And then for over here, I guess what we'll do is let's just, uh, how about if we do some stairs coming down? What the hell? Okay, trying on face. No. There. That's what we want. Uh, let's just set this back to... We'll go with ramps here. That's what we want. Okay, that should be good enough for that. And then again, this is resting on top of here because that's a half block. And... Uh, we should be fine. I don't. There's no way they're going to be able to get up that way. This is already actually upgraded to cobble, so I'll probably upgrade all this to cobble too, uh, assuming we have enough to do so. 
Now, as far as this part goes, I think what I'd like to do here is let's remove those blocks there and let's upgrade these. We'll just have these here and we'll pick them up after us if we need to escape. Because the thing is, is it's possible that they could break through here and then actually get up in this cage. And if that happens, you know, then we need to get over here and pick these up as quickly as possible to get away from them, right? So that's going to be our plan for that. Okay. So guys, this base is largely built. I mean, I mean it's completely built. It just needs to be upgraded, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go make some more cobblestone and finish, you know, getting all this stuff upgraded. And I think we're fine on on concrete uh, to be able to upgrade the face of our, our, our tower here and possibly even just upgrade all of this to concrete too. What I'll probably do is keep... I don't know, mm, two to 300 in reserve for repairing. Because I'm not planning on upgrading this to, to, to steal just these pieces. Because these pieces are going to take hits. And maybe these pieces too. I think these pieces will take some hits as well. But the nice thing about this design is that, you know, we can melee through here. And we can throw uh, throwables through there. You know, Molotovs, pipe bombs, whatnot. And we can also shoot through it, right? So... Uh, if we get over on this side, you know, we can lob grenades, hit that, let them fall down and, and you know, blow, blow the shit up out of anything that's congregating down below. One flaw in this design is that it, it doesn't work for dogs or dire wolves because they can't climb ladders, right? So if we get dogs and dire wolves, then we're going to want to be able to throw some bombs down through there to, you know, to deal with them so they're not down there just, you know, chowing down on the on the tower but uh yeah so we're pretty much done so what i'm gonna do is uh about a half an hour till morning i'm just gonna spend some more time uh gathering more resources to get the cobblestone that we need to do the upgrades in and then um go out and i'm just gonna hit a bunch of street lights transformers that sort of thing to get enough steel to upgrade these three blocks and then have a little extra you know for repairing them and then i think we're good to go um, and I'll also, uh, you know, get enough cobblestone to get all of this business upgraded too, because this is again, going to be our fallback. If we, if things really go south on us, I don't think they will. I think this is going to work, but you know, you never know, right? You never know what's going to actually happen. Okay. So with that being said, uh, I'm not exactly sure where we're going to be at for time on this episode. So I think we're going to go ahead and just end it now. Uh, it might be a little shorter than my typical, you know, hour-ish episodes, but that's okay. You know, sometimes that's just the right, right move. And so I will see you in the next episode. I think the plan will be nice way to load your gun there, dude. The plan will be that um, if I get all this done and we have enough time, we'll go do another POI or two. And then probably do Horde Night 21 in the next episode. All right. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.